What's good YouTube, Vikasa Kobe here, so we're diving into a request, this one comes from Dean, Heidi reminded me of it, so thank both of you, this is a Dr. Cap video as well, we got all the shout outs tonight, right, Dr. Cap in the house with another one of the remasters for us, this is an old performance, Farns, it was like 31 years old I think is what Heidi told me, so I'm glad that we're getting into some classic Farns, his old performances are really awesome to watch he's had such a long career the longevity inside of his career is immaculate it's very impressive that he has managed to put out so many amazing songs through such an extended career that's a true artist right there so i appreciate you guys tuning in if you're new here go ahead and subscribe for me we talk about mental health addiction world issues everything in between break down all the lyrics instrumentation stage performance i like going the whole nine yards on busting the lyrics down for you guys i really like touching on the topics that these songs are about I think we get to have a lot of cool conversations and conversations that are relatable to life and can often help a lot of people out inside of the breakdowns of the lyrics and everything like that. So that's why I like to break them down extensively the way that I do. I say this in every video. If you're somebody who's struggling with mental health or an addiction problem, please go get professional help. It's available. There are people who care and want to see you do better. Myself being one of them because I pulled myself out of alcoholism and a hard drug addiction four years ago for the drugs and it's been 17 months on the alcohol so we've been at it for a minute now and I'm really glad that I'm able to get on here and provide a perspective of survival to people and spread that message that you really can make the best of your life and pull yourself out of those issues and situations that you might find yourself in so we're going to get into this one for you dean thank you for this request i appreciate you i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples we got some farnsy with a long tall sally cover I'd like to keep it in the in the same soft, easy listening vein with a song that goes something like this. Farnsley got me feeling it with this one. This is one of those songs you can't help but to start grooving whenever this song comes on, man. Classic. Love the vibe. I love the sarcasm at the beginning. He says, I'm going to make this some easy listening for you. Not, right? <laughs> you got to love it, man. Farnsley is classic like that. Says so gonna tell Aunt Mary about Uncle John. He claimed he has the misery, but he has a lot of fun. <laughs> he claimed he has the misery, but he has a lot of fun. You gotta love that, man. There's annotations for these lyrics as well. I expect that. This is an old song. This is a classic song right here, so I would expect that. There is a whole big paragraph about this. Maybe we'll read that later. But then, oh, baby, yes, baby. Oh, baby, having me some fun tonight. Yeah, that's what it's all about, ain't it? John's feeling it. John's vocals are crazy in this. He is belting it out. I love it. I really love it. We got to pull this way back. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Yes. 
is making this his own little jam right here he's just going in with the words really he's saying whatever he feels applies whenever it comes to the lyrics he's just having a blast with himself up there those dancers are incredible i loved the dancing that went on there that was freaking awesome i love when we get stuff like that going on on the stage adds a lot of flair to the performance you gotta appreciate stuff like that the song, this song is like super simple. There's really nothing much to break down, right? It's just what Long Tall Sally, she's built for speed. She got everything that Uncle John need. Long Tall Sally's a problem. Said, I saw Uncle John with bald head Sally. He saw Aunt Mary coming and he ducked back in the alley. <sighs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Little Richard says, man... <laughs> This ain't a good situation here, right? <laughs> I want to read the annotations to you guys, but we'll save it for the end. Because there are annotations for all of this. And I just like reading the back history of these lyrics and stuff. A lot of the time we get interview quotes and stuff like that. Barnsley is killing it with the vocals on this one, though. Very, very raw young kind of energy right you can tell that he was in the youthful stages of his career with how long it's been i mean he was already 30 years old here but with how long his career has been this would be considered the youthful stages of it right I love it. I freaking love it, man. Some more You're the Voice from Countdown. I, I don't think we've seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one yet, actually. <laughs> Might have to check it out, right? I liked this one a whole lot. This was a really good video. I gotta leave us a like here for Dr. Cap. Cap, I appreciate you remastering all of these. They always sound really good. The sound on this was so crisp. Very good job, and the video looked amazing. Definitely can see and hear everything very clearly, so job well done on the remastered audio and everything for this. 
let's read that annotation that I brought up earlier. Now that we're at the end of the song, you guys know that I loved it. This was a very good cover. Farnsey did it justice. His vocals, raspy as ever. And that's not always something you hear from John, because a lot of the time he uses his clean voice whenever he's doing more emotional stuff that's his own songs and everything. So it's awesome to see John get into that wild pocket of a lot of rasp with this annotation right here. Aunt Mary and Uncle John were two people that Little Richard grew up around during his childhood in Macon, Georgia. Oh my, it's a true story, huh? True story. He says, so he used to say, long, tall Sally, she's built for speed. And her old man they called John. I gotcha. In Georgia, when you're raised around a lot of people, you call them your uncle and your aunt. Yeah. So he used to call this cat Uncle John, but he was really married to Mary, which was a big fat lady. He used to sit on the porch and eat watermelon all the time. This is the best story. <laughs> Flo Richard says she was a sight to see, too. We used to call her short, fat Fanny. This cat would be out there, and they'd get to fighting on Saturday. All the black people got paid off on Friday, and you'd know when Friday came because of whiskey and fights and joyful times, too. And she and he started a good fight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's funny. There's more annotations. The second verse, the long, salt, tall Sally, she's built for speed. She got everything that Uncle John need. That one says, according to little Richard, long, tall Sally and Uncle John were having an affair. Richard told Rolling Stone that they used to say, long, tall Sally, she's built for speed. Sally used to come back with all of this whiskey and she'd get drunk and she was tall and ugly. Man, that was an ugly woman. <laughs> His dialogue is priceless. <laughs> she was so ugly that people used to turn their heads. She didn't have but two teeth, and they were on each side of her tongue, and she was cockeyed. Oh, he's really getting into the descriptors here. I saw Uncle John with bald head Sally. He saw Aunt Mary coming, and he ducked back in the alley. Little Richard claims that when Uncle John was with Sally and he would see his wife, Aunt Mary, coming, he'd duck back in the little alley. Little Richard based this line off of his life. I just thought of my whole experience. All my songs are really experience. Wow. Little Richard telling us that he just wrote about stuff that he saw, huh? I like that. I like that Little Richard gave us that little dialogue about this song here himself in the Rolling Stone interview that he did for it. This was fantastically done. The band sounded amazing. That saxophone solo was on point. The dancers had a ball up there, no pun intended, right? They were having a good old time up there. I like stuff like this. I really appreciate you, Dean. Thank you for this request. Heidi, thank you for reminding me. Dr. Cap. <laughs> Thank you for making all of your awesome videos that you make for us. We, Like I said, we got all the shout-outs in this one. You guys are on, on one tonight with all the shout-outs that I got to give. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I always say, if you're struggling with mental health or an addiction problem, please go get the help for it. You can live a better life, man. I promise you, as somebody who really thought for a lot of years that I had ripped myself out of any opportunity to do what I thought I wanted to do with my life because of how deeply I was into alcoholism and everything. When you pull yourself out and you stand on the other side of it and you're doing things even better than you were before and really cherishing them and really diving into them wholeheartedly with a level-headed perspective, you realize that anything is possible in life and that miracles definitely are possible too and that you can arrive anywhere that you really want to if you really put in the genuine effort and show everybody that that's what you want to do with your life i think if they see that that genuine passion and that genuine want to do that with your life they'll appreciate it and that's where you start to gain respect and you start to be able to really impact the world with whatever it is that you want to do that's really the best advice that I can give you guys. 
whatever dream you have, make an impact on the world with it, you know, do, do what the world needs done, essentially, like, like my dad always used to tell me that when you're building a house and you're a construction worker, you're making somebody's dream come true because that's the house that they always wanted. And when you look at life from that perspective, I think things are pretty fucking beautiful. And I appreciate him giving me that piece of advice. I didn't quite understand it whenever he said it because I was a different person at that point in my life. But nowadays, I get those kind of things. And I think you guys totally understand what I'm saying. So please, cherish life and help others after you pull yourself out of those issues you might be going through. And fucking make something of yourself that can inspire the world and inspire some good change in other people's lives as well. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. The original video will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Farnsy. Support the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world and have these awesome discussions about life and everything in between. We're going to get out of here. I'm Vikasa Kabi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples leave a like for me comment those suggestions subscribe up this way bang the notification bell for me i'll see you guys in the next ones i love you so much thank you for everything have a blessed night peace